telling the subscribers. So soon we'll have thousands of people in here, Tyler. Are we live right now? We're going live. Uh, Johnny has joined. What up? Uh, yeah. So I'm in here, and I guess I should. Is there a way to title this? I'm so fucking tired. I'm with Tyler Smith of the Dope Show fame. Um, we are currently in Newark. Newark. <laughs> How's it go? Concrete jungles where dreams are made. <laughs> <laughs> We uh, we did well. I, I Tyler had like six dope shows last night, and uh, what up, Acosta? Uh, uh, we did uh, or he did Everett. I did um, Tacoma Comedy Club, and we went to bed about two last night. Is that right? About uh, two a.m. Yeah, I think you you uh, fell asleep at one. <laughs> it was so funny. Because you were watching the show laughing, and then I just heard, like, the laughter stop. <laughs> and turned slowly into snoring. What up, Tony? Uh, Brady, I was in Chandler. Uh, I just did it, like, a couple weeks ago. I can turn off my TV from my bedroom. Okay. So, like, when you're sleeping in my living room and watching TV, and I was packing, and I realized that you were asleep, <laughs> I just turned off the TV oh. with my Oh, thanks, Tony. Tony bought a badge. What? Oh, Tony, you don't got to do that. I appreciate that. Thank you. Uh, uh, can I set up a show in Philly around the beginning of August so I can go have a laugh? Uh, I mean, yeah, if I could find a place that will uh, will take me. There's flat rates. Hello. You can buy us for a flat rate. Yeah, there you go. Uh, no, I didn't even finish the story. So we were, we were oh, I guess I fell asleep at 1 a.m. And Tyler, you went to bed at 2 and then we had a flight at, what was our flight? We had to get up at 4.45 or 4.40 a.m. So, so I had about three hours sleep. Tyler had about two. And then flight here, uh, which, hello, <laughs> which of course is always so comfortable for me flying anywhere. Uh, and now we're going to, we were going to try and take a nap before the show, but it's 5.30 here and the show's at 7.30 or 8. And so we're just going to go to the hotel, wash off <laughs> the, the plain filth. And, uh, oh, thank you. You can get it at BigIrishJ.com. You can get the hoodie there. Thank you very much. Um, am I still, still touring with Jessica? No. Uh, and that not as a bad thing or anything. Um, but... Uh, uh, I mean, I, get, it, I do random dates with her, you know, whenever, um, so, but I'm not like, I'm not like her, uh, going with her on all these dates. Um, will you be coming to Vermont in October with her? No. Uh, sorry. Yes. This is, see, he's got shell toes on. He's got a little flat cap, but you can go to bigirsga.com and, uh, click on the merch or store link. Um, and, uh, what was it? I'm trying to make sure I don't miss anything. Uh, yeah, you did miss it, Brady. <laughs> um, I'm trying to think when I'll be out in Phoenix again. I, I don't think I have anything on the books. I, dates I got coming up. I'll be in New York this weekend at the Cellar. Uh, I'm in Jersey tonight. Um, and then, what do I got coming up? Oh, I'm going to be in Glendale, Arizona. Uh, I'll be doing Stir Crazy in Glendale, Arizona. I think it might be in August. If you go to bigirsj.com slash shows, uh, it has all my dates uh, on my website. Yes. Yes, please do catch another show. Uh, I'm doing... I'm trying to think when I'll be close to Vermont. Ah, uh, oh, Zara. Ah, oh, Shan. What's up? Good to see everybody. Uh... Shan, we're up. We're out in Newark, Newark. <laughs> I'm riding with Tyler Smith in his wow. luxurious hair. Hello. Shan asks, "What the hell are you doing?" Oh, uh, that's right. I'm going to be on stage when the game's going on. Hello, Zara. Uh, Zara Mizrahi, very funny comedian and writer. That sounds like a fake name. <laughs> oh my God, Brit. 
the secret's out. No, thank you. Thank you, Brett. <laughs> Dad Bod Demigod, what a great name. Dad Bod Demigod. Dad, Dad Bod Demigod. <laughs> yeah, it's a fucking great name. What up, what up? Um, That's his screen name, or is that what he's calling you? <laughs> no. What? Motherfucker. <laughs> uh... Denny! Denny! Cocksucker! <laughs> I know, Zara. When are you, are you coming out to Vegas, Zara? Um, I'm just reading these. You should play in New Jersey or Pennsylvania. Oh, awesome. I'll play in... How about I'll, I'll tell you what. Light my fire in New Jersey. I'll play New Jersey. How about uh, tonight? That's where we're going today. We're, uh, yeah, what's the name of the place? The Brook Arts Theater. Brook Arts Theater. We're doing the dope show at the Brook Arts Theater. So Brown Brooks. You'll get to see some regular stand up and then me high doing stand up. Um, let me know, Zar, when you're coming out to Vegas. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we do. <laughs> Big beard and beautiful. There you go. Uh, yes. Um yeah, you so I love Danny. She's the best. I love you too, Shan. You know that. No, Shan, don't leave. Don't you leave. <laughs> um What is what's everybody doing today? I should do a Tony Baker. Whenever we, we play uh, Call of Duty, Tony always goes, What everybody have for dinner tonight? <laughs> it's just so random. Nothing. <laughs> yeah, that's day. right. We haven't fucking eaten today. Eaten? Eight? I always fuck that up. Dude, we yeah. haven't eaten? It's crazy because it's 5 p.m. and we haven't eaten today. Yeah. Um, come to Cute Little Vermont, the comedy club in Burlington is cute. We, uh, DM me the, the info on the club and uh, I can uh, message them. Uh, Vermont. I'm trying to think what's in Vermont. If, what, what club's there? Mm. The Comedy Mothership. Uh, you just asked me about New Jersey. I told you, I got, I'm here in New Jersey tonight. <laughs> Come to that show. Oh, now go to Austin? <laughs> yeah, I know. Just, just random places. I'm, what if I was like, oh, I'll be at Austin tomorrow. They'll be like, oh, okay, cool. Uh, when are you going to be in Cleveland? What about Dubai? <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, thanks, Britt. Um, uh, I'm going to try and make a run down to Austin. Uh, i got to set it up. Um, bye, Zara. Love you. Good to see you. Uh... Thanks. Good to have my face be seen by you. I'll send you some more things to torment you. Uh, I did You fucker. <laughs> this motherfucker is just... <laughs> he's like, when are you playing Alaska? It just, I did Alaska. Like, about... God, now it's been like six months. Um, hmm. Uh, I'm just reading your thing, Brit. <clears throat> so, uh get the username light my fire New Jersey are you gonna come to the show you said play New Jersey I just told you we're here tonight eight o'clock at the Brook Arts whatever it's called what theater Brook Arts theater go to the dope show.com for tickets the dope show.com for tickets I, am. I think you gotta go to the Brook Arts theater.com oh Brook Arts theater.com <laughs> sorry they're handling tickets they're handling tickets Brook Arts theater so what's your excuse now Cuba's nice There's too, yeah, I'm sure it is. Tickets for me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you coming? Are you gonna come to the thing? Alright, don't don't tease me. What up? Ah, uh, Mamalita. Tia Mamalita. Dad bod demigod is still that, that's I love that. That's username of the day in here so far. Uh, we have that's the that's the front runner. Oops. God, this is Traveling when you're a giant sucks. Uh, flew Alaska and had to upgrade to the bigger seat, which wasn't much. Dude, yeah. That oh, was... Hello, Tia. Mm, thanks. <laughs> I had my own row for. Yeah. <laughs> Tyler was fucking. Tyler was behind me up against the uh, window, and I was uh, right in front of him in the aisle seat. And they nobody was sitting in their middle seat, and Tyler was like just fucking like a pig and shit. He was so happy. 
And then a pig and shit sat in the middle. <laughs> no, then somebody came and sat in the middle. I looked back, and she was uh, dressed like the Hamburglar. <laughs> had the same diet, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. And I guess she had no concern about arm space or nothing. Uh, she was bumping Tyler. Or, or just. Dude, I woke up with her on top of me. <laughs> and I was like, what the fuck is happening? <laughs> because he went to bed and there was nobody, or he fell asleep, and there's nobody sitting in that middle seat. And then he just wakes up and the Hamburglar's sitting there leaning on him. I, I looked back at him and saw him sleeping and I wanted to take a fucking water bottle and just bash it over his head because I, I can't sleep on planes, obviously. And so I was like, you motherfucker. If I suffer, we're all suffering. Oh, man. But yeah, we're um, doing this show tonight. Tyler goes back tomorrow. I go to New York tomorrow. Uh, at the cellar, if you're in New York. Um, and then... Monday, I'm doing cellar Saturday and Sunday. Um, and then Monday, back to Seattle for a day. We'll finally be able to chill. Mm -hmm. And then Tuesday, back to Vegas. Riveting. Are you coming back on Monday in, in Seattle? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, because I'm doing two spots Sunday at the cellar. Um, how long are you in town for again? You're just staying at my place that night? Yeah, and then back Tuesday. I know, T. I'm there for just. I get back Monday, and I'm, uh, and then I Tuesday I go to Vegas, back to Vegas. <laughs> I know, you missed me, T. I was at Tacoma Comedy Club doing the dope show on yesterday on 420. Mm -hmm. T. I missed it. I gotta trim this or line this beard up. Ugh. Okay, thank you, Brett. I will uh, get on it. I'll send. Uh, I'll s if you send them an email too, uh, requested me, and then I'll bombard them <laughs> on Monday. I'll send my veils to them and send them an email and see what happens. I was just in. Uh, it's not Vermont. I was in Connecticut last week, and I might be doing Boston. In January, uh, thank you, Brett. Sorry to you. Oh, God, I don't know. Just... Did you turn the heat on? <laughs> Why is it warmer? No, no, it's starting to feel like it's getting warmer. Yeah, what oh, the fuck? the temp on your side. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> I was like, fucking... my leg is hitting the temp. <laughs> So any questions you ever wanted to ask a comic? Why'd you have the matter? <laughs> yeah, nothing. We haven't eaten anything today. Is it eaten or ate? We haven't ate? We haven't ate. We haven't ate today. I, I always fuck up eating and ate and, and all that. This is we have not eaten today. We have not eaten. We have not eaten. I did not. I did eat. not eat yet. We I have not eaten. 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 We I haven't eaten yet. Nothing. Tatum in my top three Celtics. Well, of course you got Bird, and then uh, it's hard not to put fucking Russell up there. Uh, he might he might have replaced Pierce. I mean, like Havelcheck too. Havelcheck was like the Pippin before Pippin. Uh, ah, Tia, you bought a badge. I honestly don't know what. Thank you for that, Tony. Tony bought a badge too. I don't know what that means, but thank you. Uh, Thank you. I love it. Too. Thank you. Uh, we're going to grab something to eat here. Um, I do love Tatum, though. Uh, is he in my top three? Man. I used to love... I, I could, I, Pierce, I loved because I... Uh, I mean, you know, he was like my grown up or my era. And then also, I, uh, I was at the game in 2008 when the Celtics won it all. When KG was like, anything is possible. Top of the world, ball. <laughs> all that shit. So I loved Pierce, but yeah, Tatum, fuck. Is Tatum in my top three now? He might be. I mean, skill-wise, he definitely, yeah. I think he is. I think he is. Man. Yeah. 
I do love Tatum. And I'm going to be on stage getting high. Uh, I'm going to be on stage getting high while the Celtics are playing, but I can catch the end of it. I know. I know. I know, man. I love Tatum. I'm not discounting Tatum. I'm just saying, uh, you asked me a question. I got to think it out. I can't just give a quick answer because there's, you know, sentimental reasons I love certain people, players, people, players, player peoples. Like I said, I like Havlicek, Russell, Bird, Pierce, Rondo. Um, yeah, yeah, I would put, I, yes. Definitive answer. Final answer. Phone a friend. <laughs> Fuck. It's my hoodie looks like he's covering his face. Anyways. Tyler, anything you want to say to the people? Any questions for Tyler? Mm. I don't know who all these people you were just listing off. Was that Chet Tanny? Chet Tanny? Chet Tanny? Uh, no. Uh, thank you. Uh, and Detroit. Um, actually, I'm going to... I'll see. I'm, I'm going to work on that. Uh, they just opened, I think, Laugh Detroit. Is it Laugh Detroit or House of Comedy Detroit? One of them. Let me work on it. I got a, a connect I can possibly talk to about that. Maybe get like a one-nighter and then the weekend. Any other questions? You got my top three now Celtics. You got questions for me, Tyler, about his weed show here in Jersey that we're doing. Pretty, pretty action-packed live. Uh, the, the Rinks is, Wrinkles is not on the trip. Uh, my buddy Justin Tejan is watching him. Um, and then other people are stopping by and giving love. Because there's literally... Well, okay, so in my apartment complex, Justin Tejan, uh, Carlos Rodriguez, who's a comic, Carlos's girlfriend, Carlos's girlfriend's daughter, uh, and they all have my code to my door so that they can go give Wrinkles some love. <laughs> but he's uh, he's taken care of. He's good. What else you got? Help me make content. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to do a daily video today because I'm, we're going, we, I mean we've been on the plane and we're going right to the checking in and then got to go right to the show. It's been a, it's, uh, it's a brutal day. I'll tell you here, I'll tell you my story, my worst, or the, what's your worst travel day? We'll tell our worst you know, travel day stories. That, the, Denver? One of the dope shows that we did was pretty bad. Denver was fine. Yeah, I was going to say, which one? Uh, the one we did, Ben, and then Spokane, oh. and then Seattle, all in one day. Wait, what? Yeah, we, we woke up in Ben. Spokane, and since the show at Spokane was at four, we drove back to Seattle. Right. right. So it was a seven-hour drive, and then a four-hour drive. Oh. The show. Okay. So if you didn't hear that, we had we were in Bend, Oregon. We had done a show Bend, Oregon. We woke up the next morning early, right? Yeah. Yeah. We had to. Yeah. So drove seven hours, and when I say drove, I mean I rode and he drove. What up, Comedy Bar? <laughs> comedy <laughs> Bar. Really? When am I coming back? When am I coming to Chicago, Comedy Bar? I know that's probably just the person that handles the social media and not the actual booker. <laughs> but what the fuck are you doing? Put the comedy word bar? in. Yeah. Um, yeah. That full that was a, it was a full car too. Yeah. It was Quentin and Liz and me and you. Uh, yeah, that's right. It wasn't too bad for me because I just rode like now. <laughs> that's not often I get to just chill and ride. But my worst travel day was. Last year, and all the years I've been doing stand-up, it was, it was last year, I went overseas to perform for the troops, which I always wanted to do. I'd done, like, military shows before, but I never had gone overseas and done it, like, at a military base, and I'm glad I did it, and I know I'll probably never do it again, though, because, I mean, getting over there was its own thing, and this is during, like, coming out of COVID, and so 
you had to have like your tests done and uh, I'm checking into my flight to go over there. We were leaving Dallas to go to, God, I forget, I think Qatar or Bahrain, I don't know, but um, my COVID test, you had to have one within, I think like four days or something and mine was like one day off and I was like, they fucking told us so. I had to run down and get a COVID test in the airport and then run back and so that was a pain in the ass but that wasn't that wasn't the worst uh the flight back coming back from uh Dubai I think or Abu Dhabi coming back from Abu Dhabi from the day or from the day from, yeah well from the day I woke up to when I finally got home uh it was 30 hours of travel and I can't sleep in a plane ever so I was just up 30 hours we went to I think we went from Bahrain to uh, to Frankfurt, Germany, then from Germany to Denver, then from Denver to Vegas. And it was fucking 30 hours. And I was like, I wanted to puke. And I, I hate that film you get from traveling, that like airplane, you just feel like you have a layer of dust or dirt or I don't know what it is, but it felt like, it felt like just awful. Hello, Fearless. Yeah, I, uh, that was my worst travel. 30 hours, dude. Damn. Oh, God. My childbearing hips were hurting. Sitting in the seats. <laughs> Anything else? Any other questions? Comedy bar, you haven't commented. Are you ducking me? <laughs> you ducking me? We had a good time in Nashville, right? You know? Guy told me the the sound guy, I think it was. He was like, "That's the best show we've ever had." I was like, oh, "You know, I get it." <laughs> and then, and then, I think the Nashville one shut down though. I stayed at a hotel that they advertised like all these people, like they had all these pictures, and you're like, "Oh, did all these famous people stay here?" They're like, "No, we just put these pictures up." I was like, I was like, "Okay, cool." Yeah, that the hotel I stayed at in Nashville. Uh, I think I put myself up. I had to put myself up, and uh, I just was like trying to find something that was close and not too expensive. But it was a murder motel. It felt like, and then they had a giant rainstorm, and I was like, I'm gonna get killed here. But I survived, guys. I survived for you. No other questions. Okay. <laughs> Should we wrap it up? Have I bored you guys? How do you sign off on your lives? How do I sign off? <laughs> Just like this. No. Um, I don't know. What, do I have to have a catchphrase? Uh, with as much as you travel for shows, do either of you like to travel for vacations? Ah, there's the question. I'll let you answer first, Tyler. Fuck. <laughs> I travel way too much. Yeah. If I go on vacation, I'm gonna do a show there. Well, yeah, we uh, were just we were actually just, just talking, talking about that because I think we're gonna go to Hawaii. Mm -hmm. Um and yeah, uh, we're gonna do shows. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like it's yeah, it's uh, it it is hard to like if you go somewhere not to not to do a show. Yeah, I mean, like I mean, if you know you can make a little bit extra money, why wouldn't you do it? Yeah. It's like you can just pull up your job at any place you go. Yeah, yeah. And why wouldn't you do it? And then it makes the whole trip a write-off. So it's just like, yeah. Preach! Preach, Tyler. Um, do I like to travel for vacation? Uh, I mean, yeah, I, mean, I will. I, but, I, like, I also, like, if you if we go somewhere and you're, or whatever city we're at, if they have comedy there, I might look at, like, oh, who's in town? Maybe I can go do a spot real quick. Yeah. Um, it's been a long time since I've gone somewhere. Tia said that's smart as hell. Yeah, that's you. Yeah. Right off everything. Everything's work. Um, uh, I, I did... No, I did stand up then, too. I was going to say, when I went to Ireland, I... Uh, you know, that was a long travel. But I still... I, did, I went up and did stand up in London and Ireland. That was cool. At the Happeny Inn. Happen it, Happeny Inn. In Dublin. Were they upset when they were like, this guy's big Irish too, but he's not. I, he 
enunciating. There's no accent. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's enunciating. They enunciate too. They just do it with an accent. Why is that guy enunciating? <laughs> he with a knife and fork. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what do you think they're fucking cave people? <laughs> this is guy. Who the fuck what, is this guy? Yeah. I whip out a lighter. What is this fire stick you oh, have? I'm starting to suspect he might not even be Irish. <laughs> yeah, fuck. Oh, uh, that was cool though, seeing the family's homestead. The old Mulgannon homestead in County Clare. <laughs> fucking. <laughs> you think they just. The heathens. Like you imagine like an Irish guy comes over here and they call him like Big American Jeff, yeah. and he's just like ah. crushing beer bottles, <laughs> throwing. Oh fuck! Some shit. Oh, that's funny. Ah, this is how I am American Jeff. Good to be here. Ha, this is how. Fuck! Uh, I'm American <laughs> Jeff. What did uh? So what's? Oh yeah, what's? You remember um? God, what was the comic's name? Hennigan. Remember Hennigan? Yeah. Hennigan used to call me as a joke. He'd say, uh, "Big Jewish Ira." Big Jewish Ira. <laughs> uh, Hennigan's great. Is he still around? I think so. Hennigan's a comic in uh, Seattle. I think he's like. Yeah, See ya, Tia. Thanks for stopping by. He's hanging. And on. thanks for the badge thing. Yeah. Oh, uh, I guess it's. We could wrap it up. How much more time are we driving? Nine minutes? I could stay on it. Do you? Even, yeah, um, Gabby, I did. So I'll tell you kind of an interesting, funny, it's funny to me, funny story. So so my grandfather uh, on my mom's side came over from Ireland, uh, James H. Mulgannon. And, um, and my mom, like 40 years ago, she went over. I never met him, by the way. He was a... He had a pretty crazy life. Like he came over, he was a uh, police officer, then chief of police, then uh, he worked in like I think the FBI or the CIA or something, and then he was a Secret Service agent for uh, President Roosevelt. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, but I never met him. But so uh, about 40 years ago, my mom goes back to Ireland and visits the family homestead, which is in County Clare, Mount Shannon. Uh, and uh, I went in 2017, so I, I was, when I was planning to go over there, and my old roommate, Ray Breen, um, he's, he's from Ireland and he moved back there. We were roommates in Oregon for a while, but um, uh, when I was going, gonna go out there, I planned a trip to go out there, I asked my mom, I was like, okay, so, hey, what up, Q? Q's in here, Quinn. What, what up, Q? Um, so when I was going back there, I hit up my mom and I was like, hey, so like, what's the address of the family homestead in Ireland or, or where, how do I, where, how'd you find it? And she, she said literally, oh, I just, I, uh, went to a local pub in County Clare and just asked him, hey, where's the Mulgannon homestead? And I was like, how the fuck is that going to help me now? Uh, cause that was, that had been like 40 years ago. But sure enough, my buddy Ray, God bless him, he's the best. He, um, with with me planning my trip out there, he put together like a whole itinerary for the week. Like, we went to Kyle Moore Castle one day. We went to Dublin Castle one day. We went to the oldest uh, like tomb in Ireland, uh, and like all, he had everything planned. And the last day, we were gonna go check out the family homestead, or we were gonna try and find it. So uh, we we go to County Clare. We go to a pub. Ray asked the, the, the bartender, he's like, hey, where's the Mulgannon family homestead? And this dude's accent was so thick that when he answered, I just looked at Ray because I thought he was speaking Gaelic. <laughs> and Ray goes, he's speaking fucking English. I was like, oh, fuck, sorry, I couldn't understand. And then some old dude walks in and the bartender says to the old guy, he goes, uh, he points at me and he goes, this man, he's looking for his family's homestead. He's looking for the... What he's oh no he goes this man he's part of the Mulgannon family he's looking for his his family's homestead and I was like oh fucking chills and then he gives me he gave, gives us a number of a guy we call the guy and the guy owns the property and the guy's like yeah my sister's house is right there on the road there's a dirt road to the side uh, you can't drive up and you got to walk up about a mile and you'll see uh, like and it was like just this little shanty <laughs> I told Ray like. It, the way it was presented was 
all, well, all week we had been he had been taking us to these huge castles throughout Ireland. So you know, building up for the final day where I was going to see my family's homestead, and I was like, "Oh, how big's our castle? Is it? How cool are we?" No, we were probably the help. We <laughs> just just a fucking a uh, hut, uh, and like, I mean, it was like this. The the ceiling was probably six feet, um, and I you know took some pictures in front of there, grabbed a rock out of the wall and uh, brought it back. So that's a long answer to. Did I ever go to the homestead? But yeah, it's pretty crazy. Oh man, I am gonna be so tired at this show. Woo! Fuck, excuse me. Um, and we're gonna try and grub. They said there's a really nice restaurant across the street from the hotel. From the nice. All right, we're four minutes out. We're gonna have to check in and everything. Thanks for everybody hopping on the live and. Uh, I should be able to do a daily video tomorrow. Back to it. Or maybe I'll post a stand-up clip. We'll see. But thanks, everybody. I love you all. See you, Gabby. See you, Q. See you, JD. I'm not going to try and pronounce the last word because uh, it could get canceled. Okay. I love you all. Bye. 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 Say bye.